Because of how this plea deal played out, Troy Reynolds is walking out a free man. He no longer has to spend time in jail. And earlier this year, he was already out on bond. A Fairfax County judge sentencing Troy Reynolds nearly a year after a school bus he was driving crashed with 44 kindergarteners on board. He was taking them back to D.C. from a field trip in Fairfax County, all while having a blood alcohol content level of 0 0.2. We expect our children to, to go to school and, and come home safe every day to include if they're on a field trip. Reynolds was already out on bond after pleading no contest to three misdemeanor charges, including DWI in March. Prosecutors dropped nine felony charges as part of a plea agreement. That's after his defense argued the case should be thrown out, accusing the Commonwealth of violating his right to a speedy trial. Today, the judge accepted the plea deal and sentenced Reynolds to a little over two years, but suspended most of them. And since it includes time served, Reynolds gets to avoid more time behind bars, closing a chapter that rattled parents and questioned school accountability. I think you put onus on everyone involved. The people who hired the driver, um, who it, it was acceptable in somebody's mind to do that. In court, Reynolds said, I deeply want to apologize to the kids and the parents. I was irresponsible and selfish. I want to apologize to my son and family for the embarrassment. On the stand, Reynolds talked about joining a residential treatment program in West Virginia where he's tested for alcohol. The prosecution says for most of the people involved in the case, they're in support of the sentencing. Commonwealth attorney Steve Descano says today's resolution guarantees accountability and prevents future harm. Mr. Reynolds is receiving treatment out of state and won't be able to operate a commercial vehicle in the future. In Fairfax, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.